to me, surfing is a way of life. Being in the ocean is a really humbling experience, but at the same time, it makes me feel alive. I'm Sam. Built this RWV back here for my brand Vast. I was looking for a way to tie my two biggest passions together, which is surfing and cars. So I decided to build a surf-inspired Porsche and worked with Akira Nakai-san and RWB to make this one a little bit more special. But remember seeing a photo of a matte black RWB slammed to the ground, big spoilers at a racetrack, and just fell in love with the way it worked. I started looking at more photos of RWBs, and I saw that Nakai Sang, his personal car in Japan is a Cabriolet. I was like, hey, well, it might be interesting to do like a more modern air-cooled Cabriolet. I started playing with the idea and decided on a 964 chassis. Always knew it was going to be green. Wasn't sure what green was going to be. I saw a photo of um, Wolfgang Porsche's personal 993 Turbo that's parked at the Porsche Museum in Germany and was in love with that color the first time I saw it. So then I went down to the body shop, 360 Auto Works, went down with my buddy and I uh, hit up Jason and I said, hey, can you do some paint cards of this color? I want to see, I want to hold it up against the car and see how it'll look. So I shot it up, we held it up against the car and I was like, hey, that's it, that's the color. The car then went to Simplicity and Sound in NorCal. They're in Milpitas, California. And Bing and Joey did their magic. Bing asked me which audio company I wanted to work with. Talked about it and then Bing said, hey, you know, Arc Audio is looking for a booth car. Would you want to run Arc Audio equipment? And I was like, hell yeah, Arc Audio. I'd be more than stoked to have Arc Audio product in this build. So Bing hit up Arc Audio and, and then they were like, okay, yeah, we, we'll do it, but we want to see the car. And I sent him a photo of the car and it was like bare chassis and they were super nervous. Apparently, this was the first ever full sponsorship that Arc Audio signed on without seeing a complete car first. I wanted to keep the flat six. Uh, so in the end, we decided to go with a uh, Stroker 3.8. Fabian from Prado Motor Works helped strip the car. I'm in charge to build the motor for the project. The motor is a 3.6 factory, which is about 250 horses. We have a 3.8 piston cylinders. I went with individual throttle bodies, 996 cup car intake plenum. It's all tuned with a Motec standalone. It's going to have a full exhaust with 997 muffler. So it's going to be able to breathe really nice. It's actually also my first NA build. There's a lot of different ways to build the motors. We can put a little tiny bigger valves for what they are right now, so Porsches, the heads are really close to the total gain you can have as far as uh, making power. But this is uh, just a 3.8. Makes around 340 horsepower. I have to finish the motor, send it to dyno and tuning. Rothsport up in Oregon actually tuned the motor, had it on an engine dyno. Uh, when I get the motor back, I want to see, it's going to be exciting. Before Nakai arrived, basically stayed at Fabian's garage with him, you know, until like 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, getting the final pieces in there, the car ready for Nakai for when he arrived. And it was tight, but we made it. 
picked him up at the airport October 25th and then wasn't quite sure what to expect because um, I had seen the Kai work several times already, definitely watched all the videos on the internet. Personally watched him work on a few cars here in LA, so definitely was nervous going to the airport to pick him up. I wasn't quite sure how to greet him. I wasn't quite sure how he would respond. I definitely felt like, you know, Nakai was a little bit unapproachable. I was kind of like mentally prepping that the next few days working with Nakai was going to be like very serious. And um, I realized it wasn't the case. And I realized, oh, you know, all the videos that I've seen of Nakai, there's only capturing him when he's working. But like, Nakai is just another guy trying to live life. Hi, I'm Nakai. Yeah, I came from Japan this time. Building for some. This time for 964, other baby style. It's gonna like uh, suffer the style first time. I was really looking forward to working closely with Nakai's because I was really inspired by how he worked on cars. When you like his children, I'm my favorite car a long time. That car is like never changed, like maybe 30, something like 40 years. The concentration and the focus that he has when, you know, when he's doing something as small as putting it in a screw, you, know, you can just tell by the look in his eyes that he's in a zone. Being next to him, it reminds me of like, you know, the samurai way, how in, at that moment, there's nothing else more important. Some of the car, but I'm making that for me because of my passion. I remember I asked Nakaya, What's next for you? and I half jokingly asking him, When's your next vacation? and then he goes, No vacation, every car is like a vacation. I feel like maybe every day, the holiday, you know, I live in the right now. And then he said he still had 12 more cars to build in less than two months all around the world. Definitely enjoyed the two days of working with Nakai. Something he said, you know, really left an impression. And it's still something that's really fresh in my mind. I don't think I could ever lose the image of his face when he said it. I asked him, like, when are you going to take a break? And as casually as ever, he said, no, no break, because if I stop, I'll die. That made a really big impact on me because in different words, that's exactly how I feel and that's what I say to my team. I don't know what I'd do if I wasn't doing this because if I didn't have VAST, if I didn't have this ambition, I feel like I'd have no goal in life. Yeah, I really see this car now being a huge milestone. Now we have a team in Taiwan that's pushing VAST. We've had a team here doing VAST and a bunch of other brands. But uh, this car really brought everyone together and also made a lot of good friends. And because of this, you know, a lot more uh, opportunities to work on cool projects together. Like even more amp because I see so many more things coming out of this now. Still feels surreal that I can't believe, you know, all this has happened. Uh, that building it in two years, taking two years and now it's finally done. But uh, yeah, that's why I did this. Heh <laughs>